All right, Moon Knight episode four. I'm not even gonna bullshit you. I don't know what happened in this episode. I'm beyond confused and I haven't gone out of my way to look at what it means, Easter eggs, theories, because I kind of just want to stay blind to the whole thing and let the show reveal the secrets to me. Therefore, I'll keep this short and sweet because all I can do is review this. I don't really have much to give in terms of theorizing. What I can say is this was another great episode. I really enjoyed it. I like the way it's just going head first. It's, it's bombing on. It's not wasting any time. It's just getting the plot moving and, you know, carrying on right where you leave off. Of course, to start with, you do have Steve and Layla going into, well, they're following Arthur's men and Arthur himself in order to get closer to Armit's tomb and try and stop him. Doing that, they discover some things. They discover some creepy creatures that kind of resemble zombies. They're actually kind of creepy, but I like that they have that sort of element going on in here. Of course, Stephen ends up finding a tomb of Alexander the Great whilst Layla comes across Arthur. Arthur then reveals to her what we kind of already knew and had kind of fathomed from before, and that's that Mark had something to do with the death of her father. Because of this, she pulls up Mark, you know, Stephen, you know, heads to the back so Mark can uh, say his piece. And the truth is revealed, he didn't directly kill her father but he did bring someone along that did it's still a bit hazy about what the real you know situation is there and why it happened but at this point arthur's come back and uh you know mark can't summon the suit or steven can't summon the suit because Konshu has been banished therefore he just doesn't stand a chance so arthur does pull the trigger shoots him a few times and then boom he's dead and you kind of wonder where it's going to take you next and where it did take us next i did not expect i am um, I, I have no idea what's going on i have no idea why mark has awoken in this it's almost like a nut house. He's sedated, he's remembering things, but he's surrounded by people that he's come across, you know, throughout the whole show, you know, whether it be Layla or that woman from his old workplace, you know, he's, he's coming across all these people again. And then you have Arthur in charge of the facility. And I can't obviously gauge if this is a reality. It seems like it must be some sort of dream or like an alternate state for these characters that they end up in when they are separated from actual reality it's almost like an alternate persona lives in this place but of course we find in this place that mark and steven now have their own bodies they are separate they can actually communicate with each other which is what makes me think that maybe this place is to do with just the mind maybe mark isn't dead you know that body isn't actually dead but the mind is currently still alive it's like the conscience is living on and this is what it is for him this is what he's experiencing he's actually allowed to talk to his alternate personalities as if they are in another bodily form and all the people he's known are in that place that's why arthur still seems to be in charge sort of you know punishing him that's why layla's around you know treating him nice in this place i don't know i mean it's just it's just a guess i really i have next to no idea what's going on when that big hippo person walk through the door at the end i mean it was funny but i have no clue what is going on and i've been so tempted so tempted to go and watch uh, i don't know a watch mojo video breaking down every easter egg and uh what's really happening but i'm gonna i'm gonna be patient i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna just let the show unfold and then by the end if i've still got questions i'll look at those videos once again though the show is is really good it's i think it's sort of defined itself already as like the best mcu show unless it majorly cocks up in these last two episodes i, I hope it doesn't i hope it's i hope it ends on a, on a high and actually ends better than it's already doing right now but i'd give today's episode another nine out of ten that's three in a row it's doing pretty good and yes on to the next until next week when maybe i'm even more confused hopefully i know a little bit more uh, by then but yeah thank you for watching and let me know if you've seen it what you thought about it and i will see all of you in the next video bye bye